So hello guys and welcome here to a new video and today we are going to talk a bit about the Bauer chain because there's a bit of updates that's recently going on since the Chinese New Year. There's a new NFT that you actually can mint which could qualify you for the upcoming airdrop of their token. And if that sounds interesting, what I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and without further ado, let's actually get started. So if you are new to the Bauer chain and you don't have any tokens yet or you never done any transactions so far, it's actually fairly simple. You can come over here to the faucet and this faucet will dispense 0.1 testnet bearer tokens every 8 hours. So if you are needing tokens you can come over here, you simply paste your address and every 8 hours you can claim a few tokens. There's also a few other ones which we not get into except for the honey jar because there actually is where the NFT is coming from. And if you then get your tokens to actually be able to swap and do something over on the network, because we are needing actually honey token to do so. And if you want to get some honey token, you can come over here and then you simply swap some of your bearer tokens into honey. And that also plays a big part because if you remember, there's also a galaxy quest currently that you can do, which gives you 90 points. And that has a few simple uh, tasks that you can do. And if you do so, well, that also could be criteria to actually receive the airdrop since you are not only participating in the ecosystem as well, but you are also getting points on an external system, which could lead to an increased airdrop or simply be the main criteria to get the airdrop. Uh, it's definitely not 100% uh, sure that you get something from doing the galaxy quest, but I would simply do them since it's the test net and in the end it doesn't cost you any money. And you can also do the one quest over here, as you can see, uh, daily, which is visit the bearer chain faucet. That is what we did in the very beginning, where you can simply paste your address and get your tokens. Moving over, if you are also wanting to participate in the ecosystem and also receive BGT tokens, you need to pool your tokens and pooling your tokens is actually fairly simple. You select one of the pools that gives you, uh, for example, BGT rewards, then you come over onto the site and you can provide multi-token or you just do a single token and I'm going to do a single token. For example, we are taking the USDC I'm going to preview it and then we will see we get around 69 honey and 69 USDC for doing so. Then we press the transactions and then we will see that we can confirm the transaction and after that we pretty much confirmed our liquidity and we start to earn tokens. And if you want to see how much you earned you come over onto my pools and then you will see your BGT rewards and the BGT is the token that you actually going to need if you want to participate in the governance. Governance could also play a big factor in receiving the airdrop simply because governance is actually important for the blockchain itself and if you participate in doing so, we saw that with optimism, we saw that with recent airdrops regarding Osmo Staker, if you voted on a certain um, proposal, you were eligible for an airdrop. And we could definitely see the same regarding the testnet. Obviously, the more you just do on the testnet in general, the better it is for yourself to simply get the airdrop if there will be an airdrop regarding the testnet. Because obviously, they are saying there will be no airdrop, but most protocols are simply saying that because else people would just come over create 20, 30 wallets and farm since they know, okay, we get rewarded. And that is why most protocols are telling their users that there actually is no airdrop. And that is not um, because there will be none simply to get people away from it. And that also creates a bit more value regarding the airdrop because if everyone gets an airdrop, the value of the airdrop itself is not that big as if only a certain amount of people would receive it. And that is why certain protocols are saying stuff like that. And we will see that in the next example, because if we go over here onto this site where you can get the NFT, and the NFT is the bearer red envelope, you see it doesn't say anything over here that you are receiving an airdrop. And if you then look at this, you press here, 
And then you will see there's a zero expected chance that you will receive a barrel airdrop from the barrel chain foundation. And it makes no sense to simply list it like that and then pretty much saying in the end that you will get nothing for it because in the end it is clear that we are not receiving anything for doing testnet tasks but if you are stating specifically that you are getting nothing from something that could be very likely that you are going to receive something for doing so and this is simply if you were an early barrel chain testnet user you can mint that as well you can use the barrel token or you can use honey and the same goes for the red envelope which at the moment is mintable and you can mint two of them nfts as you can see right here and those also will cost you some honey and if you don't have any honey you come over here and you simply exchange whatever token you want for honey and then you pretty much can proceed with minting those and if you minted those there's also other tasks that you could do which is regarding badges and if you get those badges you are getting a bit more power each and every day and obviously the badges won't be credited immediately as you can see over here if we go on to the quest uh, we already did the quest over here uh, okay, never mind, it wants to swap and they will be awarded every Friday. So you don't get a badge until the next Friday if you do it right now. So that's why you should do it as soon as possible, obviously. And then we also have other protocols, which are banned, for example, uh, which is a bit like other, where you can deposit your tokens and then take out a loan. And if you take out the loan, you are also earning BGT, which are the token that they are using in the governance. So in the end, if you want to farm a specific token, if you want to farm, for example, the governance token, the best way obviously to do it is by providing liquidity and also taking out the loan over on the protocol over here. And you can see you can deposit Bitcoin, Ethereum, and if I'm not completely mistaken, also Honey itself. And for that, you are eligible to borrow up, for example, 37 bucks right there. And if you do so, well, then you are earning BGT. Obviously, there's a loan uh, that you need to pay back. But since it's a task that I honestly don't think it is playing a big role regarding uh, yeah, what you are doing over here. The same goes again for um, burps. And burps is pretty much just like an exchange where you can use leverage and do trades on they have 100x leverage obviously i would never recommend using 100x even on the testnet simply because it's not good but there you can do trades regarding ethereum and i think other marketplaces as well already such as tia atom and um, bitcoin and that pretty much sums it up currently for the barrel chain uh, there's a bit more to it uh, regarding NFTs, uh, like test NFTs that you can mint yourself and so on. But honestly, uh, I think that is a bit overkill to just uh, do that as well. If you are just active, I would say that is already more than enough to receive the airdrop in the end, if you ask me. But obviously, I could be wrong and that could play a factor. But nevertheless, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if so, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.